Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, we're gonna do a taste test on this dang coconut chips. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I ate these a while ago, so because I didn't do a video back then, I wanna do one now. So the company Dang, I pretty much know them from protein bars. That's, how, that's what I'm familiar with. Uh, so when I saw these chips, I was kind of interested uh, to see how they tasted. It says right here on the bag, right off the bat, no sugar added, gluten free. Now, remember when it says no sugar added, it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't have sugar. It just means that they don't add any additional, which is still good. But this flavor right here is the lightly salted. So one thing that I found out when I first started doing keto is that I assumed that coconuts were keto friendly because uh, they use coconut oil for a lot of things. Obviously oil is, is keto friendly, but the food that it comes from not, not necessarily is. I remember that I ate raw coconut uh, in a luau here in Hawaii and it gave me a headache and just a little amount because it was, uh, I guess it was high enough on sugar that it affected my ketosis. But these right here, uh, if I go to the nutritional facts, it says one serving is 28 grams or a third of a cup and it's 180 calories, 15 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, for which five of them are fiber, so that's five net carbs per serving, and then two grams of protein. And it's just ingredients, it only says coconut and sea salt. Obviously natural and, and a lot better than, you know, potato chips or something like that. I've seen them in the Japanese uh, supermarket called Don Quixote. They might have had them at Foodland here in Hawaii, uh, I think that's where I bought it the first time, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but these right here I got from Whole Foods. It's about it's a little bit over three ounces, and it was $5.50. Now, it feels pretty full. You know how chips normally are big, but then they're only about a quarter full? This one actually feels like it's at least, at least half full, uh, which is a good sign. So let me open these up. I got Risa here to help me out. ¿Te gusta coco? She doesn't like cocoa, so it's gonna be an interesting uh, taste test. The smell reminds me of this Mexican candy that uh, it's basically coconut, obviously, uh, but it's, it has some kind of a caramel or sugar. So the smell is the same. Prueba uno nomás para que veas. Y si dice no te gusta, le dices a la cámara que no te gusta. A ver, prueba la cámara. medio. So I can tell it's nice and crunchy just by the by how it looks. It's pretty rigid. And so obviously on keto, anything crunchy and salty for me is preferred. Yes. So here we go. Mm. It's just like chips. Mago doesn't like coconut, coconut, so I'm gonna see if we can, I can get, a, get her to taste it. She doesn't want me to use coconut oil when I cook because she doesn't like the taste. Ew. But, no te gustó? Por qué no? A ti te gustó? No? Si o no? Por qué no? Por qué no? Did you like it? Weird. Okay. Oily. Megu thinks it's okay, oily, which is good because obviously high fat. In fact, out of the 28 grams, half of it is fat. So that's a good uh, sign. It says lightly salted, so I didn't expect a really strong salty flavor, but it's nice and subtle. For some reason, I can't get that Mexican candy out of my head when I taste this. I really, really like the crunch though. They do feel like chips. It's not like the dry kale. They didn't really feel like chips. This one does. Most of the pieces in here are really small. This is probably one of the biggest ones, which I can already imagine that towards the end of the bag is gonna get annoying and you're just gonna have to dump it in your mouth. But um, in the beginning, the de decent sizes, at least for half of the bag, you'll be able to enjoy nice big pieces like this. I like the crunch because it's not really like like the protein chips where you bite them and then just kind of fall apart. These have really nice resistance to them. It's almost like seeds, like it has that kind of resistance where it's uh, crunchy at first and then it just kind of turns kind of buttery and, and uh, creamy. They're good though. It's really nice. I mean, you can't beat the fact that the only ingredients is coconut and sea salt. So this whole bag right here would be 15 net carbs. That's normally how I judge when I buy products. If I can finish the whole bag in one sitting, or the whole package in one sitting, and it's below 20 net carbs, uh, that's a pretty good keto friendly product. If I finish the whole bag and it pushes me over the 20, then uh, those kinds of products, I try to not, uh, not to have them as my main go-to snacks. I can imagine seeing this one as my go-to. The price isn't crazy. 
for what it is either. I mean, ships are normally about three or four dollars. So double that and you got something keto friendly that, you know, it's easy to get to. All right, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I got a bunch of videos coming up. Hit that bell so you get notified when those videos pop up. Let me know if you know of any other keto friendly products that you want me to do a taste test on, either because you tried them and you enjoyed them or because you haven't tried them and you want to find out if they're worth the money. I'll do that taste test for you. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.